Hello there. Okay, today we're gonna look at how to create this opening crawl from Star Wars. I've done this before, but I've actually found a better way to do this. You must unlearn what you have learned. And uh, we're gonna create this nice little angled text, which is super customizable. You can control the speed. You don't have to worry about keyframes too much. We're just gonna make it really easy to customize no matter what text you put in there. Let's start with a new comp. We'll make it 1920 by 853, which is a slightly different version of what we do. This is more like a cinema scope kind of vibe. And we'll call this Star Wars Crawl. All right, and we'll make it five minutes. It doesn't have to be that long, but just so we've got enough headroom to be able to move backwards and forwards, because I don't like having to expand my comps when I don't need to. First up, let's create the star background. So we'll go to new solid and we'll call this stars and we'll go to the effects and presets and we'll grab the fractal noise and we'll drag that on. We'll quickly go to the contrast and turn it all the way up and then we'll turn the brightness down and then we'll go to the transform and we'll also scale this all the way down so we get a nice dotty pattern. We'll just turn the brightness down to it looks like a star field. So pretty. All right, let's create the opening text. So if we type in the word Star Wars and we make sure that it is centered and nice and centered. If you want to get this to the center, I'm going to press Command Option Home to bring the anchor point to the center and then press Command or Control Home to bring it right to the center. And if we turn on the crosshairs, you can see it is dead center, but obviously the kerning is a bit off. All right, so let's type in our font. I'm gonna use the, the font called, uh, called Death Star, which is pretty close. That's no moon, it's a space station. It's not exactly, and I'm just gonna adjust the kerning here so it actually looks more like Star Wars. And I'm just going to bring this down to the middle here. I'm going to recenter that pivot point again. And we'll obviously flip it so it's just the stroke and we'll make it a bit bigger. Uh, we'll make this a lot bigger actually. Um, let's see, probably closer to this. I think that stroke is a little bit thicker, isn't it? Probably about there. And maybe the kerning is just a little bit lower like that. That doesn't look too bad. We'll recenter again. All right, not bad. One of the things I noticed too was that I really wanted to join the T and the S together. And obviously, if you look at the original Star Wars logo, these edges come to the very edges. So this is sort of a custom font that they obviously made for the movie. So what we're gonna go is go up here and go layer, and then go create, and then go to shapes from mask. And then what it'll do is turn everything into a mask turn all this text into a mask. So as you can see here, now we've got mask paths that we can mark around with. So we'll just click in here and just drag this out so that we've actually got our text paths. And the tricky thing here is we've got to select these two and go mask and pass and go closed. And we're gonna unclick close so there's actually an empty, so there's empty in there. It's kind of hard to see, there we go. And likewise with these ones, right click in here and go closed and we'll just drag these two across so they connect. And there we go, that's the first one done. And then we'll quickly do these two. Mask path closed. Again, select these two. I'm holding shift to select multiple points at the same time. And then you can just drag these across again. And the last one is just this one. And you just drag that one across until you get there. And that is a pretty good facsimile of that logo. It's now, just like Luke in A New Hope, he didn't take down the Empire alone and had the help of a lot of good friends and the Force. Well, I may not be able to help you with getting good friends, but I can hook you up with some Force-like motion graphics abilities in the Lyric Video Creator Kit. 22 customizable animated text presets you can drag and drop into your Premiere timeline, ready to blow up that client project, metaphorically speaking. No After Effects skills necessary. So what are you waiting for? Level up your motion graphics today and grab the Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description below. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the 3D checkbox on. If you can't see this, you can right click in here and go columns and look for the switches tab here and it'll bring up this 3D icon you can bring up here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe. We're going to press P to bring up the position and we're going to bring it right to the front here. So it's almost Almost, you can definitely see the first frame. You can definitely see the lines in the first frame. So we're gonna add a keyframe here. I'm gonna zoom in on my timeline here, maybe around 
the five second mark, we're going to zoom it all the way out. Uh, obviously you can adjust this for taste and see how fast this is. That's very fast. So I'm going to bring the keyframes out just a little bit more. All right. That's not too bad. That's looking pretty good. All right. And we'll just put a quick fade at the end. So we'll press up T and we'll add an opacity here, bring up U to bring up all the keyframes. And then at the very last point, we'll bring it down to zero. So it just fades out into oblivion, just like it does in the movies. It doesn't quite disappear into the distance uh, completely. All right, let's do the actual text crawl itself. So what we're going to do is grab the text tool here and grab your favorite font. So I'm going to use um, Arial. I think it was Arial Bold from what I remember. Now, I know that sounds really boring, but it's actually close to that. I don't know exactly what the font is, but it's pretty dang close. All right, here we go. We're going to draw a bounding box like this. And I'm actually going to double click on it. So the way you draw a bounding box is you grab the text tool and you just draw a box, basically. All right, I'm going to make it quite long just in case. All right, and I'm just going to grab the opening text crawl from uh, IMDB, which is, you know, where I can actually get it from. I'm just going to paste it in here like this. And there we go. And that is great, but it's uh, we're just going to reverse the color and we're going to make it significantly smaller. It's a period of civil. We're trying to get it's a period of civil war on one line because that's what it says in the opening crawl. Um, we're also going to shrink the kerning just a bit. I think the letting, I think it's letting. I think I meant letting last time when I meant, when I said kerning. All right, which is cool. And that's looking pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is go to the paragraph and we're going to double click on this and we're going to change it to this one, justify it last left first, but this sort of brings everything into a box sort of shape. So everything's nice and even on the edges, but also when it does eventually get to a second, like to a line with only one word, it pushes everything to the edge on the left here, which is what we want. Now, what we're going to do now is set the speed for the crawl. So the crawl will probably start here. So we'll move this to about there. And we're going to set a keyframe for the crawl here. And then maybe go to about seven seconds. I think that's what it was. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end. We're just going to see, we're just going to try and set the speed for it. So if that makes any sense. So that's too fast in my opinion. We want that to be a little bit slower. So yeah, the, the way it's scrolling is looking pretty good. We want to, basically we're just going to get a vibe for how fast we want the speed of the reading to be. And that might be a bit slow. So that's pretty good itself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'll click on the position keyframe and go loop out and then quotation marks and look for offset. And what that's going to do is that once we get to the last keyframe, it will just continue to keep going at this speed. And what's great about this method is that if it's too slow, you decide that this is still too slow. You can actually speed it up and that'll actually speed up the, the reading speed or if it's too fast, you just, you know, bring it back there, but we can adjust it with just the two keyframes so that it's just uh, the reading speed that we need, which is fantastic and a very easy way to adjust those, uh, that the reading speed of the, uh, the text. All right, new null. We're going to move the null just above here and we're going to turn the 3D on for both of these. We're going to parent this. Make sure you're not using the track mat, <laughs> which is what I did accidentally before. And we're going to, once we parent it to the null, we're going to basically click this first orientation here and spin it down so that we get that nice angle that we get from the movies itself. Now this is pod racing. And obviously you can see here the text is starting too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the Y coordinate down all the way to the bottom here. So it starts here. And that feels too fast. So what I'm going to do is drag the last keyframe out so you can kind of see what's going on. And that's not looking too bad. Now, the other thing too is that I feel like it's still too wide. So I'm just going to shrink it in a little bit. That's probably my bad. I actually want it so that the edges are closer to the... And so you can see here, this is where adjusting the crawl comes in pretty handy. You know, you can adjust where it starts and 
and also too you can edit the paragraphs as you see fit so obviously I want to break here so let's put a paragraph here I think there was one more right here and obviously you can adjust the you know you can adjust the text however you want no matter what you decide to do and obviously the last thing we want to do is that it gets to the top here and then we want to set a keyframe so press T to bring up the opacity and then we'll make it fade into oblivion do or do not there is no try